So I'm back here in my trunk. And as you can see, I have a big trunk organizer here. Brendan and I both have these trunk organizers. Um, maybe he'll, I'll make him put uh, what the trunk organizer actually is uh, in the description and like where you can get it and all that. But if you don't have one of these, definitely go pick them up. Um, they're very useful. I keep all my microfiber towels and all my stuff and extra seat cord and school stuff and yay. So yeah, go ahead and go get you one. All right, we are back here working on Brandon's car now. What are we doing, Brandon? This is we're your gonna, car. We're doing the same thing that we did on yours. We're going to pull the bumper off. We're going to put an RT badge down here in place of this Dodge badge, but we're also going to plastic it by grill black. So That's going to take a little bit to yeah. dry. So. Plasti dip's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool stuff. It's a great way to change the color of something without permanently changing the color of it. They make this stuff in just about anything you want. You can get it in like whatever color you want and they make a glossifier for it too so you can glossify it. It's basically like wrapping your car except it's vinyl in a can. Yeah, pretty much. So the, what the purpose of it is there is you spray it on and you just build up coats until you have a thin coating over whatever yeah. it is. So pretty much what he's trying to do is take this grill into this grill my grill out here as you can see it's mine was uh, painted black from the factory I believe um, so what he's trying to do is basically mimic that and instead of putting a white RT badge down there he's gonna put a red one and replace it with a Dodge because if you have a Dodge badge right there it looks like an SXT and nobody likes SXTs is that right Mernon? That's right. All right so just like that Got his bumper off. That only took about what? 10 minutes? Just about, yeah. Now that we actually know what we're doing, we can take off bumpers, no problem. Now we need a Phillips head screwdriver to pull the grill out. And there's the bumperless charger. Looking so mean. sad. I mean, it's really the best, the best thing ever. Well, yeah. you should just drive around like this. I don't see why you even yeah, bother. I figured out, all right, so here's what's keeping the darn thing stuck up here. There's a pin that goes into that hole. Yeah. That is what holds this up there because this whole thing's kind of rigid and yeah. yeah. It just you just gotta manhandle it off. It's you won't break anything. You just gotta yeah. If you're ever trying to take your bumper off, watch for that. Just you just gotta work your way out. You kind of have to pop it out and then you can pop it up. So now he's unscrewing. He's taking the grill out. And we're getting rid of that nasty, nasty chrome, aren't we? That's right. You hate chrome. I really do. He's got chrome on his wheels. And didn't you say they're starting to bubble? Yeah, that one, the back passenger side. Yeah, you can kind of, well, that might just be water. That's just water. Where is it bubbling? You have to look. It's on one of the spokes. You can kind of. Mike can kind of see it. I don't know. It's uh, right there. You might not be able to see it on camera, but it's there. All right, so we're working on the grill. Uh, he had to remove a big piece of the bumper out, which is not that hard. It's just held together with a couple bolts. But um. The grill itself is held mostly by what, metal clips? Plastic. Plastic clips. So we're having to, he's having to finagle with these to get them to come on out. Yeah. It's throwing a bit of a fit. Yeah, these don't want to come out easy. I think it's easier if you have a pursuit charger. I don't know. I mean, I've watched people do it and stuff online. I just don't know why it's. Giving you fits. Yeah. Of course, it could be the fact here that this would be the first time that this grill's been taken out of this car since the car was built. Yeah, it's at what, 90,000 miles almost? Yeah, so 90,000 miles. And it, oh, there, there you go. So well, there's the surround. There. Which you have to get that out to so get, get the. This part out, the yeah. chrome part that he wants to remove. So it just pops out roughly the same way. There's just a bunch of plastic clips. 
You go around and pop out the clips. Is that standing horse thing about to fall? Uh -uh. Looks like the bumper's like trying to move. Is. Like to be honest, it probably is. You just gotta make them want to release. Yep. You just gotta. There we go. Come on. Oh, broke one. Oh well. You broke one of them? I did. That's why there's a bunch of them. Oh, now your grill's not gonna stay on. Oh well. There, there you go. go. And he did it. Look at all that ugly chrome. Yep. Look at that ugly, ugly chrome. Now to dry it off and paint it. Plastic dip it. Let's we're gonna go. go. We're gonna go to the shop to do that though. That way there's no risk of overspray. I'm gonna use All right, we've got the grill here all primed and ready. Now, actually you don't prime it with plastic dip. True, but that's just it's the expression. It's the expression that counts. So we've got this here, shaking up some plastic dip. Are you ready? We're out here in a shop, by the way, which we couldn't actually get a car down here because it's kind of down a hill and grass, and it would have our cars would have been stuck. So, the can is clogged up, and also is. You stick a thing in it, and it just explodes. Have you even used that can? No, yeah. Did you plastic? Oh, is that the old plastic dip for the, the truck? Right yeah. Probably the only All right, let's yeah. see how this works. Oh, so it doesn't even look like anything's on it. Yeah, that's that's the purpose of this stuff, though. It never looks like anything's on it until like it dries. Yeah. Well, you have to. It's it's uh you have to build up coats. It's just so, it doesn't spray well at all, as you can probably see. Even a brand new can doesn't spray well. Just kind of have to keep going back and forth on it. Yep, that's, that's all you can do. Hopefully I'm not plastic dipping your shoes. I hope not. I'd be very upset. That'd I like be, your shoes. That'd be pretty funny. Try to get some more on like the inside of that yeah. bond thing. You gotta another thing you gotta watch with this stuff is runs. This stuff will run bad. That'll make it not look very good. Yep. 
it'll make it look like garbage. Bye bye chrome. It's just hiding under here. I can pull it off anytime I want. Well, I mean, bye bye chrome look. Oh, yeah. To be honest, I'll probably end up chipping the plastic dip trying to put it back on. Probably. It's getting a lot darker now. Yep. That's what it's supposed to be. All right. Well, we plastic dipped the grill and uh, we're going to let it sit and dry now. And uh, so far, it looks. I mean, it looks splotchy, but that's the thing about Plasti Dip. It looks splotchy at first, but it really settles down very nice, and it dries out very nice. So, it also smells like circus peanuts yeah. and chemicals. We're gonna uh, let it sit for probably about 45 minutes or so, an hour, and uh, we'll come back and stick it on the car. Then the directions say to let it wait four hours before you use it, but I think if we're very careful with our handling. Um, I'll flip the bumper back over and install it from the top down. Yeah. I think. Didn't should. you say you were gonna um, do a second coat? Yeah, I, it just depends. I went really heavy on this first coat, so we'll just see how it looks. Yeah, he used. You probably used half of that can, didn't you? That new can. There's probably about a quarter left, so almost a full can. Yeah, he almost used two cans. Very far. Yeah, he, almost, he pretty much used a whole can. Whole cans um, worth. When you buy wheel kits to plastic cut, plastic dip your wheels, um, it's usually they usually recommend two cans per wheel. So yeah. when I did the wheels on uh, Green Hornet, the 1998 Dodge Ram, when I did the wheels on Green Hornet, I bought 12 cans and used all but two of them. So and those are the two that we're using right now. Not that first one, but. It's this can and one more. Yeah. So I guess we better hope that you've got the, uh, that we only need two. Well, uh, actually, I take, that, I take that back because when I did that, I did more than just the wheels on there. I did, uh, grill. I did the back bumper too. Yeah, and the back bumper. So. Didn't you do the grill? It took a can, no. It took a can huh. for the back bumper and then a bump. It took two cans for the back bumper and then pretty much two cans for all the wheels. So. Yeah, so that's what it's at right now. We'll update you when mm -hmm. we. Get back. Get back, I guess. We're gonna go find some food because yes. I'm quite possibly very hungry. I am as well, so let's go get some food. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, Brandon. I think I think this might be Hemi Cruz here. Oh my god. Is this, is is this... Hemi Cruz? Dude, no way. Oh my god. No way. It's Hemi Cruz. Oh my god, no way. Where is he? Where is he? Did he just, like, Where? Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, he fucked up. Uh, oh my gosh, she left his key right here. Dude, let's get it, let's go! <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so we are... Uh, okay, so we are back from food. It's been about an hour. How's she drying? Actually drying pretty well. Is she ready for a uh, second coat? Uh... Trying to just look and see. I may forego the second coat to be honest with you. I mean, it, all, it looks really good. It does. There's just one spot that right in the, here. Right up there, it looks like it's not quite dried yet. One spot right in there that's just not quite dry. Didn't get good coverage, but uh, where at? Right in here in this top, uh, this top area. Where at, right in here? Yeah. I can't really see it. I can't either. And I'm feeling like once it's on the car, it won't be that big of an issue. I don't know. I'd say that went pretty well. <clears throat> Wanna go and put it on the car? <coughs> Let's see what our times are looking like. It's 6.53, you wanted to be out of here in about an hour. Yeah. I mean, if you want, you can do another coat and I can wait a little bit longer. Yeah, we're going ahead and hit it one more time. Not so thick though, <laughs> right? I may just do 
right there along that strip. The spot that got that didn't get well. Yeah. Although I don't know, I'm tempted to leave it because plasti dip's weird. It's not like paint where you can just put a coat or a touch up spot in one specific area. When you do these coats, you have to coat the whole thing again. Otherwise, it will not lay down smooth like this is. So. What's the plan then, Stan? <coughs> I'm not, I have to decide if this spot is bad enough to warrant me. I can't even see what spot you're talking about. Here, you. It helps if you pick up the groove. Where at? Just in here. It's only when the light hits it, does oh, it? Oh, up in here. Okay. Yeah, right in here. I can't, yeah, I can't even tell. All right, I well, guess. I can kind of tell. Maybe. I guess the decision has been made. Is she going back on the car? We're going to put it back on the car like this and uh, see what happens. Hopefully, we don't chip it. Yeah, hopefully. We I mean, you basically put two layers worth on for one much. coat. So, we're about to go put her back on. It's almost night. <coughs> so, he made the executive decision to do one more coat. Uh, there was some, when you get outside, the spots that he missed became um, a lot more prevalent. And it's like, still, it's barely light out. So, um, it, it would definitely be obvious in bright daylight. So, I he went and got other can of plasti dip and uh he's gonna hit it again i think he's already starting hey there honcho so he's hitting he's got to hit the entire what the entire part yeah we're gonna do the entire thing with another coat the entire thing so uh we were gone for like an hour though and it didn't take i mean it it was completely dry by the time we got back so it shouldn't take too long especially with a thin coat Hit it just enough to try and cover up some more. It is dark now and we're trying to figure out how to reinstall this grill. Um, the, we put a second coat on it, as you know. It's right over here. It dried nicely, looks pretty nice. I'm all in the white, but it does look nice. So uh, we're trying to figure out now how we're gonna put the uh, grill back in. So he has like the main grill part back the in. surround. Yeah, the surround. The way you have to do it, in case you guys ever do this, um, you have to put this piece back in first to give more structural support to the bumper. And then uh, it's all pe pe peachy kings from there. We went through all that trouble just to put this stupid thing on. And to plasti up your grill. Oh yeah. And that. And I'm getting hot again, so I've got to get out of here. All right, Brandon's car is finally done, isn't it, Brandon? Yeah. Let's show you guys. So here's what it looks like on the bumper. Or here's what it looks like on the car. So as you can see, let me get some more light in here. Looks very black, like my soul. Looks like my car. And then he's got his RT badge right down there. So, what do you feel? How do you feel, Brandon? I feel like it's a proper RT now. I don't know why Dodge and their infinite wisdom, the car was an RT, but it had this Dodge badge. It just, it didn't make sense to me why they did that, but. Yeah, I think like every other one has an RT badge right there. The V6s have the Dodge badge. I don't know why the RT, why this RT didn't, cause yours was an RT and it had yeah, an RT Yeah, it came with one. I don't know. It was weird. Oh well, I mean but it was seven, it's fixed it was now. seven bucks on Amazon. Yeah, so. it was it's fixed now. As you can see right yeah. down there. He's down there. He's got his black grill now too. You happy about that grill? That looks a lot better than Chrome. I agree completely. It looks a lot like my car now. <coughs> yeah. Are you trying to be me? No, I think you're trying to be Kenny Cruz. I think you're trying to be me. I had the I had the black grill first. Between no, you us. Didn't. Between us, yes I did. You had chrome. No, you had chrome. Because last time I checked, I don't have a red interior. Oh, uh, okay. Well, maybe, maybe you don't. Oh, she 
she's wet. Oh, she's wet. Timmy <laughs> Cruz! You happy with it? That was worth the 20 bucks that it cost me all together. Three and, hours we spent yeah, about on it. three hours of labor. Yeah, which you weren't even working all that time. It was yeah. mostly waiting. Basically, you were literally sitting there watching paint dry. Yeah. Even though that's okay. not paint, but still. Basically. But yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's about all she wrote. You got anything else, Brandon? Damn, I have been tasting cars. If you had to give uh, one piece of advice to people that are going to do something like this, what would it be? <laughs> Um, have two people to pull your front bumper off. It helps. it helps. You can do it with one person, but it really helps with two. Um, whenever you go to put, if you have to take the grill surround out, make sure you put the inner bumper, plastic inner bumper, back into the shell. Just give it rigidity, and uh, it'll help the grill go in a lot easier. Um... But other than that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's ten, it's nine bolts and eight plastic clips that hold it on. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of wiggling around to get it all done. But thank you, Dodge, for making this process quite easy, even if you didn't want us to. I, I personally think it should have came from the factory like this. Yeah, it should have came with his RT badge. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. But I guess that's about it. Yeah. Uh, follow me on YouTube, youtube.com slash filmfanatics. You can look us up. Channel link is going to be in the description <laughs> below. Uh, or follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash the underscore Thomas Backwards. This will also be in the description put there by the man himself, Hemi Cruz. Nah, I'm not, I'm not going to put that in Hemi the Cruz? description. Hemi I'm Cruz? I'm not going to put that in the description. Yes, you are. And you, you, know, you know where to follow me at. All my stuff is yeah. always in the description, so... But yeah, give me Chris. If you liked the video, drop a like on it. If you didn't like it, well, you know where that button yeah, is. Yeah, thank I, you for I, I letting me be tell, on the channel. And I don't kinda, have to tell you where that button is. Yeah, thank you for allowing me to be on the channel and kind of lead no a vlog problem, today. Buddy. Maybe I can join no you more often. Buddy. Yeah, cars. well, I mean, you've got you've got the same exact car as me. Just yeah, imagine. may as well. We're just kind of going in slightly different directions. Yeah. So, oh, oh, I, I, I did scratch the ball. Yeah, we... I blame he did. Break. He did. I did. But I had no part in this. Uh, yeah, it's kind of pretty badly messed up. Nah, it, it, it's, it's noticeable. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of noticeable. That's that like, far away. You, you can still notice. That's that. still noticeable. Yeah, I don't know. I'll get some. I'll get some touch up paint to fix that. Yeah, just get a sharpie. <laughs> Honestly. But, but yeah, damn. that's about all she wrote. That's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Like I said, if you liked it, like it. If you don't like it, well, you know where that button is. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, what, should, what should he do next? To yeah, what should I do next? I'm actually about to start a job that actually pays decent money. So, hopefully. Um, yeah, hopefully. I go for an interview for that tomorrow. So hopefully we can actually start doing some real mods, actual performance mods, and not just... Plasti dip in the grill. Yeah, nothing. Um, no more aesthetics for him. No more aesthetic mods. I don't know. I want to do some. I want to do some decals on the back. Whatever. Yeah. Anyhow, other than that, subscribe to the channel. Get notified when we upload more cool content. But I'm Brandon, and that's Thomas. I'm Thomas. Thank you for having me. And, I had uh, a great. I had a grand old time. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.